Good morning. My name is Mark Wright. I'm your ace tour guide in a kampong. Takes people on a different, different type of tour. Basically, when one get to a kampong, the first thing we did was give them a warm welcome, introducing them to our community. This community goes by the name of a kampong. It's an, it is an 271 years old community, which we still occupied as freed people living inside of Jamaica. A kampong bear the name of Kojo's second brother. It was Kojo, Kofi, Kwaku, Jani, Nani, and a kampong. The struggle that went here was like the British soldiers tried to defeat us and they got defeated in 1738. The following year, 1739, we, we signed a peace treaty giving us rights and privilege to be a self-governing body. Every five years we select a leader, which we, their title is chief, but we call them colonel, like in the army. A kampong is one of the four most maroon settlements in Jamaica. At this present you have a monument for Kojo, you have four different seal ground. Right now we are on the edge of one of our seal ground here. A compound is one of the safest places on earth for one to visit. And we, we practice ecological tourism here. So when you walk today here is and you learn more about the herbs, the plants, the animals and the people. Thank you. Seal grounds. This as you see it's marked seal ground. Seal ground is regarded as holy ground. Times we are really just meeting where held. Up until today, we still respect and regard our seal grounds. You got an understanding about the Kumina in St. Thomas. Mile is what we use on this side. When one falls in mile, they relate with the ancestor and come and relate back to the community what's going to transpire the following day. Up until today, you have voodoo, where you have what we call obia, science. Mile is the same spell, but mile in our community is a way of protecting and guarding our community. So this area now is called a square, so this seal ground protects and guard this square throughout the years from 1738-39 until today. All you see behind me now, these are incense of the celebration. Every year, January 6th, when we have our celebration, stalls are put up along the roadside in the community where people would come and vend a lot of different type of things, from craft to, to every meal in Jamaica is prepared here for the celebration. The celebration is getting more bigger and bigger every year more than 20,000 and the date when we held the celebration every year it's January 6th yeah the 6th of January every year yeah this year now it's called parade ground and parade ground is we are doing the war days the soldiers used to train after training at parade ground then they would take them to kinder to sit and formulate war plans plans that they made was such a victorious one that hence from 1738 39 until today Kinda is still regarded as a historical area. Even until today, this Kampong Parade Ground is a sacred place also. And also the school for the community is located, as you can see, on the parade ground. And the school was built in 1969 by the Canadians. So every year, January 6th, here is where we have the civic function. We'd put a big stage here and then the people would be seated on the tent here after they marching through the village. Here's where the people would come back and relax and get the speech, like the civic function, you know. Basically, for our rich heritage and our rich history, whenever time we come to Kinder, Old Town, Peace Cave, or areas like these, with visitors, what I personally do to keep the tradition alive is pour some liberation given to our ancestors. And this is white proof from which we have give me the ancestor and telling them that this we are passing through with some friends who were here some years ago and they are not here to harm us, they are here to end strengthen us and reinforce our rich history and our culture. So you see now, Kinda. Kinda is an African word that means one family. This tree behind me, it's the name of the area, is also the name of the tree. As you look on that sign on the tree, you see it's marked Kinda, one family. So this era is a sacred era also. And behind us, you could see all cockpit country, which is part of our same domain. Right here is where the food is being cooked. 
The food that is cooked with kinder is cooked straight without salt, spices or seasoning. And the animals that use at kinder are male animals like pig and chicken. And meanwhile the food is being cooked here. The people are singing, drumming and dancing over on this side. At present, because we, do, we, we practice so much traditional herb, that greenhouse is built to do greenhouse herbal medicines. This is a type of houses our people used to live in in the olden days. This process is called wattling. After wattling, what we used to do, we'd mix the red mud with limestone and we'd plaster it to make it airtight. So we call it wattling dab. The roof is made from these grasses that is called wire grass. We put layer over layer and so you get a, a, a zinc type roof. And inside the house now was the floor was all made from earth, but you wet it and seal it so it does not crack. So you wet it and seal it and we'd use some herbs, some bush and rub it to give it a sheen. So these were the type of houses we, our ancestors used to live into. And they would never leak. They lived for years. Maroon burial ground. We are saying to you, we, we use markings to mark them trees instead of co concrete or structures like that. We plant different different flowers like the croton, the rose apple, the calabras tree, the dragon blood. And if you look all the way out there, that red and green one is the dragon blood. You see it have a red streak on the leaf? Yeah. If one come into a compound via Montego Bay, you come to John's Hall, Springfield Point, Garlands, Niagara Moko, Elders, the Joint to the Retirement, Whitehall, a compound. The people of a compound are loving people. The people of a compound are farmers. They, they farm yam, dasheen, banana, sugarcane, and a lot of varieties of food. And the food that is farmed here are sell to different exporters and things and take it down to the market. And that's how the people survive. This, a compound village, it's under the ruling of a colonel and for 271 years only one case of murder that we ever have here. A compound is one of the safest places on earth for one to visit and we, we practice ecological tourism here.